Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back. Welcome to the investing channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at AXS. We're going to look at price predictions on it, okay? Um, so I'm going to look not only at the four-hour chart, which I typically do, but I'm going to look at the one-day chart because I think the one-day chart is going to be better for picking quick or take profits, okay? Um, look at that background. How'd you like to be out there fishing? Uh, anyway, I'd be right up there throwing my line in and then making a burger. Uh, anyway, uh, for those of you guys that are new, I jump in on trades. I'll let you follow me on my trades. I'll let you know why I'm choosing certain points so that you know when I'm buying in the dip. Okay. Um, so let's keep going. And I'm going to share my screen with you guys. There it is. Okay. So this is trading view. Um, look at it. Uh, there it is. And uh, what I do is I come in here and I draw bases on these charts and you'll see them. There's a base, there's a base, there's a base, there's a base, there's a base. You'll see them. But what happens is uh, most options, Usually what happens is when price action breaks that base, it'll usually go back up. And I'm going to show it to you guys. It lets you know where the dip is, right? Okay, so it broke there and it came back up. Let me expand this. It broke right there and it came right back up. It broke there and anyone, whoop, let me get rid of that. Anyone could have come in and they could have said, oh, there's a dip and they buy right there and then they write it up the back up to that line, okay? Okay, here's another one. Broke there, came back up. It broke there and it came back up. It broke there and swung up over here. It broke real quick right there and came back up. It broke there and came back up. It broke there. And what did it do over here? It swung back up, okay? It broke there and came back up. It broke that base too. If I drag that over, it came back up. So you guys can see that more often than not, once it breaks these bases that I draw, they come back up, okay? So it lets you know where the dip is, right? Wouldn't you like to know? If you were if you were in there and you're like, uh, what coin should I go after? And... Uh, you know, somebody says, oh, you're you're in the dip, you're in the dip. And you were like, okay, I maybe I'm gonna down here, I'm gonna buy here, see what happens. And all of a sudden it goes whoop, and goes right back up, right? It shoots up and you take profit, okay? So a lot of times when you guys are in on these trades, you guys don't know, you're like, I feel like I'm, I feel like things are looking good. This is what you're doing. You're coming in here and you are going like this. You are looking at, uh, maybe you're just looking only at the Fibonacci. Maybe you guys are over here and you're waiting for it to touch these boundaries and you're like, okay, go. And you're jumping in. Uh, or what you're doing is you guys are coming in here on the SMA line and you guys are going, okay, uh, oh, look at here. Uh, this is getting ready to cross the blue line. So I, right when it crosses, I'm going to jump in, okay? But I'm giving you guys another way to look at it. Um, you don't have to always go into the RSI. Uh, you don't have to go into volume all the time. Um, it basically lets you know where the dip is, okay? So this is kind of what I'm seeing. If you guys have not seen that before, if you guys have not seen how to buy the dip or where the dip is, I'm more than happy to show you guys what I'm seeing as the dip. It's not advice. It's just my opinion. Just let me know in the comments down below if there's any coins that you guys are stuck in on or you're thinking about jumping in on. I'll look at it. I'll see if there's a dip that maybe it's it's within uh, and I'll let you guys know if I don't feel it's a good trade that I would jump into, then, you know, I'll let you know. Okay, so we're on the four hour chart right here. You guys can see it up here. There's the price 2840. Uh, oh, by the way, if you guys could, if this is new to you, or if you like the information that I'm providing you and you find it interesting that this is coming up, swinging back up and touching that line more often than not, if you guys could please uh, look somewhere right over here there is a thumbs up icon. If you could give me a quick thumbs up, uh, that helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, it helps my videos get recommended to other people too, okay? All right, let me keep sharing my screen. Bam. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing on the four hour chart. You guys feel free to write some notes to help you in your due diligence. Again, this is just my opinion. Um, you could take a photo too if you want. Uh, so this is the top swing bag. I see it, it broke here and based upon more often than not coming down and swinging back up and touching it, I can feel comfortable that if everything's going good, company's going good, life is just happening, it should swing back up. If there's some monster major event globally that causes the whole financial market to fall down or the company's CEO gets busted for, you know, whatever it is, uh, but based upon if everything just kind of stays the same, this should swing back up because we've seen it. I've shown you probably 15 times and I could even go further back on the charts and show you guys. Uh, and it works on all the coins that I've played with. I've been doing this for a while. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing on a top swing back, 132. That's a long-term hold, guys. This thing broke over here in December. And so we are up almost six months now down. Um, I've seen them go as long as a year. So 132 on the top long-term hold. On a short-term hold, bring this down here, 72 right there right in the rail, just up above it, 70, 72 range, okay? It doesn't have to be exact. On the one-day chart, let me go over to the one-day chart. There it is, looks the same. Um, anyway, here's the one-day chart. 
So remember I said one day charts give you a little bit more options for a faster take profit. So you're not sitting there and you're not sitting there waiting for it to get to 72, even though that would be nice. Um, but if you want to just like, I want to get in, I want to grab my money and I want to get out and move on to the next thing, then the one day chart could be an option. Right now it's at 28. I see a, a potential swing back at 47 and a potential swing back at 67, okay? And then once it hits that 67, if, you, if everything's good and you're like, I've got plenty of money and I'm letting my money sit on in on other trades and I'm just going to let it keep going because it's a one day chart, uh, take profit, a one day chart swing back, then you could set your take profit a little bit higher. You could sit back and you could basically be run off the four hour chart. Okay. You could let it swing up because it should get up to that 132. Or it, once it gets to 67, 67 is really close to 72. The, the pricing might do this. It might come up to like 67 and then it'll like, boom, it'll hit. And then also to go and it'll drop down and it'll move around. And then ultimately it should get back up here to the 72 mark. Okay. Um, but if you're only going off the four hour chart, uh, once it hits 132, that's the point where I say, I'm out. I'm definitely out because uh, I don't know what can happen. It could hit that line, the 132, and then it could immediately shoot down. You could have one candlestick go and then right back down and hit that 132. And then this thing lingers down below for another year. Okay. So I don't like to wait that long on these coins. I'm, I have a lot set to the top right now, but because things are lingering, things started bumping up here a little while ago. I'm going to keep watching and seeing, but if I need to, I'm going to switch to some of these uh, four day chart numbers. Okay. I hope that helps you guys. Um, also, uh, for those of you guys that are new, here is my channel. If you click on my username, you'll come to this page. And then if you click on the videos tab, you'll come to my full library. You guys, if I look in here, I guarantee you'll see some stuff in here. You guys have thought about investing in or are in right now. Come in here and take a look at these, watch these. Uh, when they take profit, I do a green one. Took profit, took profit, took profit, took profit, took profit. Okay, so there's a bunch in here that are, oh, look at all these took profits, okay? So you guys can watch that. I got some Bollinger Bands here. Also, if you guys are stuck in on any coins, make sure you follow me over on my Instagram channel. It's called Investing Points, right there with an S. If you come over here, you guys can look. I do one little minute videos because I have a lot of people coming into my YouTube videos and they say, I'm stuck on whatever, soul. I'm stuck in on soul. I bought a long time ago. It's not moving. Uh, am I in the dip? Am I in the dip or am I above the dip? You know, um, should I sell? Should I not sell? I'm not really sure where I am. I'll let you guys know and I'll say, hey, in my opinion, you're above it. Uh, you may want to take in, you may want to think about doing something like this, but ultimately the decision's yours. Or I'm going to say, hey, you still have a chance. A lot of times you guys uh, comment to me and you say, you know, should I get out? Should I sell? And I go, no, you're, you're perfectly in the dip. You just have to wait and wait for it to come back around. Okay. So if you guys are stuck in on any coins, add a comment down below this video. And then what I'll do is I'll respond to you most likely. And I'll, I'll let you know, I'll say, Hey, I just made a quick video over here. Come over here and watch it. Okay. On investing points. All right. And if any of you guys want a copy of my uh, spreadsheet, here it is right here. Um, I track all my trades. I've been doing it for a long time. You can see got a lot of green in here. OK, so my method works. I've got some red, but that's because I sold too quick or I got nervous in the early days, but I don't sell anymore. I, if, if it goes down, it goes down because more often than not, it's going to swing up. Right. So I got my chart here. I keep track of it. I come in here. I put in, you know, what coin I'm doing. I put in how much I'm going to invest. Let's say I'm gonna, I only have five hundred dollars. I'm going to put five hundred there. And then I come over here and I go, um, OK, what was the price? My entry price is going to be, let's say it's 15 cents. And then I'm going to sell at 45 cents. I'll make 200%. I'll make a thousand bucks. It calculates it out for you guys. And then once it clears, I come over here and I type cleared. Okay. So if you guys want a copy of that, head over to my Instagram account over there. You can search for me up at the top and then uh, send me a DM message and say, Hey, can you send me this spreadsheet and include your email address? Otherwise I don't know where to send it. Okay. I had like three today that said, Hey, can I have it? And then they didn't give me their email address. So, uh, so that you get it quicker, just let me know what your email address is and I'll send it over to you for free. Um, I guess that's it. If you guys have friends that are in crypto and you found this video interesting, uh, please send them a link to it, but also go over and check out my other uh, videos. Okay. Thanks guys for watching. Remember, um, please get over here, subscribe over here, bottom right-hand corner of your screen. There's a little icon and then smack that bell when it pops up so that you're notified. Um, and then add a comment down below. I, I, I always need ideas for new videos for you guys, okay? If, if it's something that I can do a video on, this one, 
This one was a, a comment in one of my prior videos. He said, hey, can you revisit uh, AXS? So um, here it is. Okay, thanks guys for watching. Have a great night. Bye-bye.